everybody. Hope you're having a good day. Welcome to the q and I decided to split this up into three parts because I asked you guys on Discord, Twitter, and YouTube to ask me some questions, and there were a lot of them, so I'm going to split them into three parts. This part is the Discord questions, so if you're not a member of my server, make sure to click the link down in the description below to get access to my server. You can ask me questions there under the Ask Rael channel, where a lot of people have been asking questions, and I answer them in bulk right before I do a video. But I'm going to be doing two more of these videos based on this round of questions, so make sure to subscribe so you see both of those videos where I answer Twitter questions and YouTube questions. So if you don't see a question here that you'd like to see asked, or if you have a question for yourself, make sure you go to the Twitter and YouTube channels and you'll be able to ask your question there. That being said, there were a lot of questions on the Discord server that I've already answered on the server that I wanted to make a video out of. So hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get to some questions. So the first question comes from 8-Bit. They ask, what kind of hobbies are you a part of? I know I mentioned this in the first Q&A, but I actually play some guitar, I do uh, some drumming, I write some music every now and then. As for hobbies, I don't really have much that I do outside of YouTube and Twitch. Actually, no, I started doing some blender stuff and some uh, substance painter stuff. So I've been learning how to render and like how to render a scene in blender, not necessarily model. I don't, I don't know how to model. I don't know if I want to get started with that, but I like making renders out of the textures I make. And I've been making textures for friends and other people and have been doing renders with that, with like different scenes and different ideas that they've had or I've had. And it's honestly been a lot of fun. Uh, it's another creative outlet outside of YouTube and Twitch that I can kind of do. And it's honestly a lot of fun. As for other hobbies though, I do like cooking, uh, I do like grilling, uh, those are two things that are really cathartic to me and like I can actually just sit back and kind of do. I love cooking, I love coming up with new things, I love uh, just putting stuff together to see if it works out. I'm not the best cook in the world, but I like to think I might be able to feed myself some pretty good food. I don't really get into collecting things. Uh, I think the only collector's thing I have as a hobby is maybe the copy of uh, the quality of SoundCloud 2 parts 1 and 2 given to me by Cosmic Latte or Rain Blanc and Lord Mouse. So that was pretty cool for them to give that to me. That was, that was pretty friggin' sweet. I still gotta see what's on the DVD. <laughs> yeah, that's about it for hobbies. The next question comes from Overclock. They ask, what's your favorite music genre? I listen to a bit of everything. I'm not going to sit here and say like one genre is better than the other. I have my preferences, uh, but I guess if I had a favorite genre, it would be metal or like deathcore or something like that. Anything that's really heavy and like gets me angry without actually being angry. And I also love drum and bass. I love uh, hard style. I love uh, most electronic music, except for modern pop music. It's all the same things written out over and over, like just for 15 minutes of fame and then it's on to the next one. Unless you're Lil Nas X and you ship post and it's great. I'm not really a fan of country, but I am a fan of old country and like big band music, like 1920s, 30s, 40s, jazz, Frank Sinatra stuff. Uh, I, I love that era of jazz music too. So it's a little bit of everything, but normally I'm listening to metal or rock or something like that. Drago asks, why the color blue? I know I mentioned this in a previous uh, Q&A before as well, but I'll go over it again a little bit because I didn't really explain it all too well. I am colorblind and my form of colorblindness is actually called protonopia. I know it's weird, protonopia, <laughs> I'm a protogen. <laughs> But basically it means my reds and my greens are weak and I have it to the point where even my blues and my purples, it's hard to tell them apart unless it's very specifically blue or very specifically purple, like a really bright purple and like almost, it's gotta be a really bright purple. <laughs> So I designed Rael around my colorblindness, so he looks the same to me uh, as everybody else sees him. It's not really, I don't know, the, the best way to go about designing a color scheme for a character, but it was the easiest thing for me when I was starting out, because I like keeping things simple, I like keeping things uh, so, it's not so crazy. Uh, with the design or anything like that. I already think the protogens look good uh, and I didn't want to do much else to them other than add some horn color and add the claw colors. So yeah, it's pretty simple stuff. Flame Magma Protogen asks, do you ever get any software or hardware updates? Actually, yeah, I'm due for my first update in a while. Uh, it's coming up next.
Akira asks, what would your plans be if streaming and YouTube didn't go as well as it did now? Honestly, I don't really know. I'd probably still be working at the same metal shop I was working at before uh, all of this happened. I'd probably still be an editor for people as well on YouTube professionally. That being said, I probably would have gone to a paint shop because I actually just got offered a job at a paint shop uh, about a week, maybe two weeks ago that I applied for a year ago. I guess they kept a hold of my contact information. They were looking for somebody to handle a little bit of body repair work. Unfortunately, that's just not something I want to do. I want to be a painter. I would have definitely taken up the job if it was a part-time job because I love painting. They have a state-of-the-art facility. It's honestly amazing how it looks, but I just couldn't. I, I didn't want to do the body work, but I still got you guys to worry about. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Stabby asks, how do I ask out Shrek? I think he likes me. See what you do is you give him an onion. Preferably, you are, you've already exposed the layers. See, what the onion signifies is that you understand that ogres have layers and that you want to be able to get to the center of him and understand him as an ogre or as a person. You want him to understand that you love him for him and that you will do anything to do it. Take a bite out of the onion to show your dedication. Don't tear up, don't cry. Just to let him know that you are willing to expose his layers. That is the single dumbest fucking answer I've given to any one of these questions. Dusk the Protogen asks, Since I think you've done well on your recent short film, are there any plans for other films in the future? So for those of you that are unaware, I did a little short film. It was nothing too crazy. It was, stu it was super simple. I did a short film called Saturday. I basically went to this world, acted really sad, and then at the end of the video, I said, I can't believe I have to go all the way to work on a Saturday. All the way to work! It, I, I really enjoyed making it even though it was basically just a shit post and it was a lot of fun as for future stuff I want to do I would love to do another one I've always been fascinated with writing I've always been fascinated with like directing something and I want I would love to do like a full-length movie within VR chat. I've actually had an idea for a while since actually the beginning of this channel, but the logistics of it are kind of insane getting people that have decent quality microphones that can record their parts and have full body tracking is another hurdle I've got to step past. And then character designs, because I don't want to use anybody's character uh, that, that they've made for VR chat. I actually want to make custom characters that fit the role of what I've got in mind. And right now there's like 20 some odd characters within this little short film I need to make. They've all, some of them have to have like special effects. Like somebody's going to have like a little flame ball that can come out of their hands and somebody else is going to have a gun that they can draw. Uh, stuff like that. Stu super, like, what you would think is easy stuff, but in VR chat, it's so much harder to do. But yeah, a full length, hour and a half to hour and 45 minutes movie. Uh, and I'm not gonna give away too many points here, but it's something I have been working on, and it's gonna be a lot of fun to work on. <laughs> Zen asks, do you feed your Discord mods? They get a bucket in the corner and they're gruel once a week. They're fine. Magneto asks, how do you keep this server sane? So that is nothing to do with me. To be completely honest, I haven't really been in the Discord server lately because it's gotten a little too insane for me. So I don't talk in the general chats or anything like that in the Discord server, but a lot of why the server runs so smoothly is because of the mods of the Discord channel. I know people like to shit on mods, uh, but honestly, the mod team that we have for this server and for the Twitch streams is so friggin good. All those guys have honestly made this as possible as it is. Uh, it's been an absolutely insane ride because there's a lot of stuff that I never expected to happen. Like, the Discord server's over a thousand members now. That's really hard to manage. But they do a fantastic job. They keep the order, they keep the peace. And I think if you guys see the mods in the Discord server, make sure to thank them because without them, the server probably wouldn't even exist. 
Quiver asks, Do you have more fun with big rail or small rail? It honestly really depends on my mood. I like being either or. I like just fucking around in the big avatars and just like kind of sitting and having people crawl all over me. But at the same time, I like being small because people give me head pets and I fucking love head pets. So why the hell not? I can be on either side of it. I can be either big or small. This right now is my normal sized avatar because it would not fit in this room I'm recording in if I used it. Being big and small both have their advantages and disadvantages. Being big, the disadvantage is I can't hear anybody. Being small, uh, the disadvantage is I have to look up all the time. So I just crawl into somebody's lap and pass out. The weird Yasuo main asks, Rael waggle one hour when? Wagga 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 Actually a lot closer than you might think. Person person 1243 asks, how large can you be? I can be as large as I want to be. Rails cannon height is 10 feet. His shortest height, I think, in VR chat is maybe 16 centimeters. No, 16 inches. I'm sorry. But I even have a macro version, which is like 20 times the cannon size of Rael. So he big. And then I'm even planning on making an even taller version for like big worlds. But oh well. <laughs> Arniam asks, pause or maws? Why not both? AC130 asks, why did the chicken become a chicken? Man, why do you gotta judge the chicken? What, is he bothering you? Chicken's gonna chick, let him chick, man. Ouija asks, how much toast would a proto-toast of proto could toast toast? At least three. But it's gonna be like wet and soggy and also burned. Flywheel asks, have you ever traveled outside of the US? And if not, where would you want to go? So I've actually never been outside of the US. I've never been outside of the USA. I've been all over the USA. I've lived in Ohio, Virginia, Montana, North Carolina, South Carolina. I, I've, I've lived a lot of places, but I've never actually been outside of the United States. So if I could go anywhere, I think I would honestly love to visit Ireland or maybe Italy. I love the history in those areas. I love the beauty of the landscapes in Ireland. It's so green and lush from the pictures I've seen. That being said, I'd also love to really visit Japan, not for any weeb reasons or anything like that. Uh, I'm not that big of a fan of anime. I just think Japan's culture is really friggin' neat and I would love to just see the country. Crimson asks, does Riel like being called cute or hate it and why? I'm indifferent to it. Uh, I don't hate it or like it. It's more of a, okay, you called me cute kind of thing. I just, uh, okay. It's not that I don't appreciate it or hate it. It's just that it's, I get told it so many times, it doesn't mean anything to me. Like, I don't, I don't understand why people think I'm cute either. I constantly quote the protogen lore and people say, well, I'm non-canon, bitch. And I go, okay, you're still a protogen and this is the protogen backstory. Protogens, they can be drawn cute and everything like that, but I don't think their characters overall are intended to be cute. That's just my honest opinion about them though. Cause I love sci-fi. I love everything to do with like, for instance, the Borg in Star Trek, as cruel as the Borg was, it was so friggin' cool seeing that. And like the, the difficulties of having to deal with that kind of problem, like, oh my God. And then the protogens kind of have something similar where they were integrated into something. And I just thought that part of the lore was so friggin' sweet. So I knew I had to be a protogen if I chose, a, if I was choosing my first persona. And that's kind of the reason why. I love the lore. I love sci-fi spacey stuff. Iris the protogen asks, a minor question, and that's because I'm curious, genuinely curious. How tall are you? In real life, I am five foot two. I am small. Marby asks, how much do you like your job of being an entertainer and how much do you like just vibing with other wholesome peeps like yourself? Honestly, being an entertainer, it's still really, I don't know the word for it, anxiety inducing. Cause all of a sudden there's all these people that wanna watch my videos or that do watch my videos and I'm constantly worried about not putting out a good video and then there's videos that don't do as well as others and then there's videos that do so well that I'm trying to figure out why they did so well and I can't figure it out. And then there's all this constant pressure of Twitch being a thing I need to take care of. And then I've been missing a lot of Twitch streams because I've been so low energy dealing with the YouTube side of things. And then I get, I do Twitch for a little bit, then I'm so low energy I can't 
do much YouTube side of stuff. I, I can't do much editing. So it's like, it's a constantly sharpening double-edged sword being a creator and being, uh, and making your living off of YouTube and Twitch because there's so much you need to pay attention to and there's so much you need to worry about. I'm not worried about getting canceled. I'm worried about burning myself out and then putting out really shitty content. <laughs> As for the second part of your question, I absolutely love just vibing with people. I don't think there's any need to be like super crazy, especially doing like VR chat stuff. Uh, when I'm not recording, I typically just hang out with my friends and just chill and chat with them. I treat it a lot like a Discord call without the Discord. I don't know. It's weird. Ouija asks, since we're on the topic of food, are you ever going to make another stoner pizza? Okay, so this requires a little bit of explanation. <laughs> if you don't know what a stoner pizza is, it's basically a pizza that I made that had too many fucking toppings on it. I think it started off with a homemade dough, uh, homemade pizza crust. Then it moved, then it was a layer of, uh, buffalo sauce, pizza sauce. Then it was a layer of cheese, then pepperoni and sausage and also Canadian ham because Canadian ham is amazing. And this is where it gets fun. Mozzarella sticks. On top of the mozzarella sticks went more cheese and then French fries. And on top of that went more cheese and jalapenos. It shouldn't have been as good as it was, but it was amazing. <laughs> Do I plan on making another one? Maybe. I might actually stream that because it was really fun making that pizza. <laughs> The Walking Prodigy asks, With all the visor boops you get, how often do you have to polish your face and what wax do you use? Oddly enough, turtle wax is actually pretty good. So I, I, I polish my face twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, usually after meals. It's important to get every surface of the visor, so I use a microfiber cloth and a Q-tip to get in the corners and give myself a streak-free shine with Windex. ATFE88 asks, Opinion on the Windex joke. So I do think the Windex joke went a little too far. It's actually kind of grating that that's the only people thing, or that's the only thing that people know me for now. But honestly, it's fine. It's what got me to the point where I'm at and I can't complain about it too much. It was a funny joke. I still really appreciate it and a lot of people seem to really enjoy it. So yeah, I'm fine with it. Ozzy asks, What was your favorite band when you were in high school? So all throughout high school, I listened to the same few bands. I think freshman to junior year, I was listening to mostly Breaking Benjamin and Linkin Park. But my senior year of high school, I distinctly remember the Wrong Side of Heaven album came out by Five Finger Death Punch. And it's the only album I listened to. For like a year straight, it was the only album in the CD tray of my car. And it's the only album I would listen to no matter what. I don't know why I was drawn to the album so much, probably because it was Five Finger Death Punch's first album maybe with their new label, but I can't quite remember if they got their new label then or if they have it now. I, I can't quite remember, but it was just a really good album. And yeah, I listened to it for a year straight. It was the only thing I listened to. Asmo the Demonic Floof asks, Toasters or microwaves? Mm -hmm. Borgser asks, who would win, you or about four to five rats? Well, this is a problem because if it's four or five horse-sized rats, I'm not even going to be in the same country. Asriel asks, have you ever played simulator games? Well, doesn't VR chat technically count as real life simulator just with avatars? If not, the only other simulator game I've really played is maybe button pushing simulator, which is literally you just push a button. That's it. Zen asks, out of all the species in the furry fandom, why a protogen? Honestly, the story behind them, and I thought they were cute and awesome looking at first, and then I read the backstory, and I'm like, that's a cool, really, that, that's a really cool sci-fi story. I want a character like that. So I made one. Rael, here he is. Love me. Person person 1243 asks, will you eventually end this channel? 
the YouTube channel, I don't see myself ending anytime soon. I really like doing what I'm doing. I love uh, being able to inspire people the way I've done so far. Because uh, so many people have come up to me already and said I've inspired them to open up to themselves about becoming a furry. And then they chose a protogen persona because of it. And I'm like... That's a really high honor to me. Like, the fact that I can inspire somebody to be creative in the first place means the world to me. But if you're talking about the Discord channel, no, I don't plan on ending the channel at all. I really like hanging out with you guys, and I like answering your questions, and it's a way for me to interact with you guys that you don't normally get. Even when I'm streaming, I don't read the live chat all, all the time, so it's hard to actually chat with y'all. So having these little Q&As is a way for me to try to talk to more people. French Fries asks, What is the best gift you've had? Probably when my dad bought me a drum set after my freshman year of high school? He bought me my first legit kit. It was a five-piece Pearl sound check kit. Came with the stock symbols and everything. It was trashy, it was ugly, it didn't sound good at all. But it was my kit and I loved it. Artyom asks, what made you choose a wicker sona? Oh, you're talking about Whisper. I don't think this channel has been properly introduced to Whisper yet, so let me switch into it. So this is Whisper. He's my wicker beast sona and he's a little big. <laughs> He's technically a king wicker bee, so he stands 13 feet tall, has all the same things you see here, but I think he's pretty friggin' cool. Honestly, I love the design. I saw a lot of people in these avatars, and these are made by Gina? Is that her name? I can't quite remember. Made by this person. Go follow them on Twitter. They're pretty friggin' awesome. The species isn't made by them, but the model that you see is, and it's honestly really good. It's available on Gumroad, too. Drago asks, which was first, the human or the furry? Well, actually, what's interesting is if we treat this as a little bit of a thought experiment, if we go all the way back to the caveman era, like early humans, like 20,000, 25,000 years ago, I could say that maybe the furry came first, or maybe they've always existed side by side. Gotta think about it. They had fur suits when they had, when, when they were wearing animal pelts for warmth and to keep warm in caves and during winter. On top of that, there's a lot of cave paintings that depict beast men, which are just humanoid looking caricatures of humans that also look like animals. So I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a, uh, maybe we were always furries since the very beginning. Octumi asks, have you ever played or planning to play Beam NG Drive? Honestly, that's Shinion's deal. Uh, I would love to give it a shot. I've actually, I have played it before, uh, but we don't need two protogens playing Beaming Drive. Uh, I'll leave that up to Shinny. He's awesome. He's an awesome creator. If you haven't heard of him yet, definitely go check him out right here uh he's friggin ah oh, i love his videos and he's got good taste in cars error 404 shadow not found asks will rael answer any of these questions no quintry asks do you enjoy working on saturdays honestly and this isn't a joke or a meme or anything i really do because my saturdays tend to be quieter than my other days so it's really nice to, uh, I, can, I can get more work done on the Saturdays because they're not as hectic, they're quiet, and I just feel like working on a Saturday. It's weird, it's weird for me, but yeah, I don't mind it. Soviet Furry asks, are you part of the LGBTQ plus community? Personally, I am not part of it, but I am in full support of it. It's not my place to tell people how to live their own lives. If you aren't comfortable being yourself, you have every right to change that about you. You have every right to feel comfortable in your own skin and loving who you want to love and feeling for who you want to feel for. I did have buy in my Twitter profile for a while. Uh, that was back when I was kind of experimenting around and this was all just in VR chat, but I count myself more as straight. Uh, I don't see guys uh, as any more other than friends, That's th that doesn't make me any better or any worse than anybody else. We're all just normal people living our lives and we have every right to live our lives the way we see fit and the way that's best for us. So it's not up to an individual to tell you how to live your life or to put laws in place that reject you from living that life. And in fact, it's so fucking scummy and unfair that we do have these laws that keep 
a man from being able to go through surgery to become a woman if he wants to, or vice versa. It's so fucking shitty that we still deny the love of two guys or two women, and they're not allowed to marry, or, it, or it's taboo that they be seen in public. Like, honestly, I hate that about modern society. Like, why... Should we put a limit on who and uh, on who we love? I know I haven't really spoken out about this uh, yet, but I am very passionate about it. Because even though I'm straight, does not mean I'm gonna fight against the LGBTQ community. In fact, I'm gonna fight for it because it's not my place. It's not my place to tell anybody what they should and shouldn't do. You have every right to love who you love. And then, guys, that is it for today. That's all the questions I had. Thank you so much for participating in this if you are in the Discord channel. Your questions were really good, and I honestly really love doing this sort of thing. And if you're watching this and you didn't get your questions submitted, make sure to join the Discord channel. It is in the description down below. The link is there. And ask your questions in the hashtag AskRael channel. I don't answer the questions right away, I let them build up and then I answer them all at once right before I do a video on them. So ask your question and it will be featured in the next video. Like I said, I have two more of these coming up, so make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see those. I'll be going over Twitter questions and I'll be going over more YouTube questions. So thank you all so much for watching this video, it's honestly been a blast. I can't wait for the next one and I can't wait for the next video and I can't wait to see what you guys ask. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, I'm Rael and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Wag a 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 wag a